Welcome to Denver Fancy of 2023. My name is Andrew Akapong and I am a registered dietitian from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hope you're enjoying your time at this year's conference and I would like to thank you for attending today's session. I currently work as a corporate registered dietitian for a grocery retail chain in Minnesota. In addition, I am also a student in the Doctor of Clinical Nutrition program at Kansas University Medical Center. As of fall 2023, this is currently my fourth semester and my goal with this program is to restructure our organization and hire in-store dietitians and that way I can oversee those other dietitians as the director of health and wellness. What encouraged me to join the profession of dietetics stems from my parents history. Growing up they lived in refugee camps during the Vietnam War and as I was growing up learning about their history looking through photo albums I realized that they were very malnourished because they were skin and bones, and I didn't understand what malnutrition was until my freshman year of college. And I had a best friend who was going to the dietetics profession, and I asked her what that was, and I automatically wanted to jump right in because I felt that was the best fit for me. During my career, my mentors were actually my undergraduate advisors and professors, Dr. Susan Fredstrom and Dr. Joy Bond. They really encouraged me as an ethnic minority and as a male to join the profession because they're really is a big need for persons who identify as an ethnic minority to help guide and promote nutrition education, nutrition accessibility for underserved populations. A really big challenge in my career as a grocery dietitian is figuring out how to bridge the gap to support the continuum of care between inpatient, outpatient settings to the public health grocery retail. So after doing some marketing of my services to these providers, educating them about what dietitians do as many of them are actually unfamiliar at least in my county service areas that really helped me gain some more referrals to kind of guide their patients our clients through the grocery store and helping them understand how specific products fit their nutritional needs and lifestyle so with the continued growth of our grocery retailer opening up more locations and me educating providers about what dietitians do, that resulted me in getting more referrals than what I can handle. And so that required me to figure out a plan, which is hiring more in-store dietitians. And with me completing my um, doctoral level education, that will allow me to move up into my company and be a director of health and wellness. So that that way I can help support, guide, and lead these in-store dietitians in promoting health behavior change among their consumers through multiple um, programmings, including cooking classes, social media outreach, and grocery store tours. Because Minnesota is a very large melting pot of so many different cultures, including languages and food practices, it's very important for me that my colleagues have very great skills and cultural competency and applications to deliver individualized nutritional care to these persons based on their cultural background. In addition to that, it's very important for me that the education, the resources, the handouts, the language that we use in promoting nutrition messages are at the appropriate languages, levels, and showcase different foods that will meet their needs needs to help them succeed. And lastly, in the grocery retail setting, it is very important to have great strong support from our corporate administrative staff such as the general manager, the store director, business personnel to help them understand what you do as a dietitian to um, promote return on investment and continue on the need for dietitian nutrition services at the retail level.